which means it has um, uh, near Dibnir magnets in the center. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I can probably show them to you. Uh, yeah, here we are. Near Dibnir magnets, uh, which we make ourselves, we mold ourselves, uh, in a rather special technique to stop it flying apart. And then we put a carbon fiber sleeve over the top of the neodymium, a very, very thin carbon fiber sleeve. Uh, the reason for that is that although there's resin impregnated in the magnets, they would fly apart if it weren't for this very thin carbon fiber sleeve. And that runs in very, very close proximity, about 35 microns, to the electric field around the edge. Now, the reason we call it a digital motor is that um, the, the impulse to, to rotate the, the rotor, uh, in other words, switching from the positive to the negative, is done digitally on a chip rather than mechanically. So that's why it's called a digital motor. And it re re reverses the polarity 6,000 times a second. Here we are. And this is the principle of the Helmholtz silencer. You have sound waves of 1500 hertz or 3000 hertz, which are nasty, audible sounds. And as they come down a duct, you have a, a thing like a bottle off the duct, uh, and the pressure of the sound wave is killed by the fluctuating pressure within here. So it, it reduces it. And that's an act of, this is a sort of diagram of it. And this is natural measurement of what it's doing. So it's effectively killing 1,500 hertz um, sound waves and 3,000, 4,000 hertz sound waves. So it, the, it's virtually, the air that comes out of here is virtually silent. The noisy bit is when the air comes out at 600 kilometers an hour or more out of this slot. Um, so up this tube goes obviously the air for the blades, uh, the water for the tap, and the electronics for the sensors so that you know, it knows whether your hands are asking for water or your hands are asking for air. Um, now, finally, we do a lot of product testing. Uh, as you see, those hands um, have gone up and down 250 million times. They're resin hands to sort of replicate our skin. Uh, and you see a lot of product testing. And the reason for that is totally unnecessary in Germany. But you must forget that in England we have football supporters. <laughs> so, uh, it's, uh, there we are. Well, thank you very much. I hope that's given you a brief introduction to, to what we're doing.